See, that's, I believe that that's a special anointing that God has given me is to teach people how to walk out of the carnal because the carnal man literally, believe it or not, keeps you from hearing God. It causes you to battle with the voices. It causes the voice of the old to reign. Some of you don't understand that you have got to go through a cleansing period. If you don't, you have those old seeds that are in you. And guess what? Do you know some of those old seeds can come up years later? Years. You would think, prophetess, that was 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Do you know demons lay low in a person for years? And guess what? At the anointed time of your life, when God's ready to elevate you, that demon will show its face. Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like your intellect. It sounds like the carnal mind. The carnal mind always limit God. It always limit the faith in God. It always says God can only do so much. Oh my God, but I can't stand people that limit God. But I say today, take the limits off of God and believe his word. See, your key is that you got to believe him. Loose the carnality back up from the flesh. You talk in the flesh, people, you receive in their spirits. And because you receive their spirits, you got their thinking. Yes, that's the reason why your first thought is carnal. Your first thought go carnal left. Your first thought is not God. What does God say? Yeah, See, your first thought needs to be, God, what are you saying? See, while you're talking to somebody and they're trying to, they're trying to convince you of something, but on the inside, when you've been walking with God, there's a way you can tap into him. You tap into him. See, I don't think you all understand the layers of the carnal person. I don't, I don't think you understand. There are layers to the carnal man that are so thick you make you. Let me tell you, give you an example. Carnal man will always bring you back. You're going to go hook up with old people. They're going to come across your path. And guess what? Then you got to prove something to them. Your old boo going to always come and connect with you. And guess what? Because you're carnal, he going to resurrect that lust demon again. He going to make that succubus or that ichabus ignite itself. Oh, my God. Did prophetess say that? I sure did. Yes, it does. Because you know what it does? It ignite that old demon in you because you leave those layers in there. See, that's that's why you do the little church thing. Because see, in the church, the little church thing, the little religious thing, you understand. You can hide your demons. You can lay down with Tom, Dick, and Harry, and guess what? Nobody knows because nobody going to challenge your walk. Nobody going to challenge your holiness. Nobody going to care if you back up from God. Nobody going to go on and join forces with that old, go on and hook up with your old boo. Go ahead. And guess what? All his demons or her demons going to hook up right back with you. And guess what? You're going to lose the glory. See, don't, don't email me and asking me, well, prophetess, you know, I'm getting older and, you know, you know, you know, it's better to have somebody. OK, go ahead on. Just know he done picked up another level of demons and he's coming to connect with you so that you could settle. But just remember this. You better make sure you know what he done picked up because later on you're going to pick it up as well. And it's going to show up in your life. Oh, my God. I tell you what. Oh, I feel like I'm after some kind of spirit here today. All of this compromising. God is calling for an army and he's saying, I'm looking for an army that's going to stand for me. Are you one of them? Are you one of them that's going to stand for him? It's time for you to get a walk with God. You know you have a special anointing upon your life. Why you keep laying it down? Why you keep settling? Because you're getting gray hairs? Because you don't think you could do any better? So you digging back in your past? Where's your God? Oh, my God. Where is, come on, where's your faith? You think God, well, prophetess, you know my biological clock. Baby, your God is bigger than your biological clock. 
He got that thing laid out. But you so anxious because you such a hot mama. See, you such a hot thing and you don't have nobody. You don't have a pastor that loves you enough to say you better cut that out because you're going to end up somewhere and you're going to end up in hell if you keep on. Listen, let me just say this. We in the last days, sweetie, and God's trying to use you to 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 literally cause people to come into a new thing. He want to use you for glory. You think he don't love you enough? Come on. He loves you. You don't think he knows that you're lonely? He knows that you want to be married? Come on now. You don't think, man of God, that he knows you need a woman on your side to bring forth that word? So you're going to go conjure you up a woman and make her your own woman. And then she's going to turn out to be the hellraiser in the church. Come on now. I want to make you a game changer. But you got to know how to line up and become that warrior. You want to know what the game changer is? It's becoming a warrior. Yeah, no whole shit. It's knowing how to walk with God. It's knowing how to have commanding power. It's knowing how to go up to the heavens and bring it down to the earth. Mandel Rabashi. See a real warrior, they got patience because they don't question their God. They know it's coming. They know if their God don't give them something, it's because they don't need it right now. But prophetess, I've been waiting so long. All right, go ahead on and get your Ishmael. You know who Ishmael is? That, that is actually your will. Yeah, that's not God's will. See, you won't wait on the Isaac. You won't wait on the Esther. So you want to evoke an Ishmael. That was your way. Yeah, you, you like Sarah. You want to go evoke an Ishmael. But baby, there's a price to deal with an Ishmael. Do you hear me? You will live miserable and you will suffer living with that Ishmael. But today I speak life unto you. I say believe God. The prophets didn't lie. You do have a special anointing upon your life. God does have a plan for you. I know you're saying, but prophet is when. Go, he got his timing. In the meantime, walk with God and enjoy the presence of God. See if you really. Okay, so let me give you another key. Well, prophetess, I praise, I worship, but it's not enough. That's because you got some more of them lust demons in there. See, those demonic spirits lay low in you. And they come against the presence. They make you feel like God's not enough. But sweetie, I'm telling you, he's enough. He's enough. He's more than enough. You're saying, but prophet is, you know, it's just so lonely at night. Baby, all you doing is drawing up on what yesterday's was. See, because your mind is in yesterday, you just running yourself. But you won't even give God time enough to prepare you to be a good thing. So right now, if God's literally brought someone in your life, he'd have to get the residue out of you. He'd have to clean you up first because you don't connect with so many people. You got so many agreements. You got a couple of sex demons in there. So God knows what the man going to get or what the woman going to get. You don't know. Let me say this to you. God has a life for you. And he's a God that hears you and he knows where you are. But I'm telling you today, join your faith with God's. Come on. I'm going to join my faith with you. I believe God for you. But I'm trying to tell you that you can't keep flirting with that flesh. Some of you are, are non-active sex demons. Yeah, you got them. You, they just low. Yet yeah, they non-active. So that means... You know, you're in church, you're pretending like you're really walking with it, but you're masturbating at night. Yeah, you got all your toys and you claiming to know God. What kind of God do you know? God say walk in holiness. Holiness is the way. And he will give you what you rightfully deserve. See, but if you do your own thing, 
and you get that I, you get that Ishmael and don't wait on the Isaac, you're going to be sorry. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to say, you know what? I didn't want to listen to that woman. I didn't want to listen to her. But prophetess, now I got this thing. And I, 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 I don't know what to do. Uh, all hell done broke loose. I done found out she got two or three other children and she had some exes here. I done found out she, she, she emailed in the ex and talking to the ex. And I done found out that, that, you know, he got two or three baby mamas that I didn't know about. Because you didn't take the time to wait on God and let him fill that need. But today I say unto you, God has not forgotten you. And he wants you to walk with him until he brings that thing to fulfillment. And I promise you, it'll be worth the wait and it will be with no sorrow because you are his little one and he loves you. Oh my God, he loves you. He loves you. I'm telling you, he loves you. You know, I just feel like as if somebody is just saying, but prophet, this is so hard. It's not that hard. No, that's because you're not filled in here and you still got stuff way deep down in there. But today I'm calling you to a new place. Rise up, warrior. It's time to become a game changer. Woo! Hallelujah. It's time to become a game changer. Woo! It's time to change lanes. Woo! My God, we getting ready to change lanes. I call you out of deliverance. I call you into deliverance today. That's not the will of God for you. You're not supposed to be walking with those grave clothes on you. God didn't call you to be a slut. God didn't call you to be second best. Oh, Rabashi. He called you to be God's woman. He calls you to be God's man. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm trying to be real to you today. I got to be real to you today. God is calling you to another place. It's time to become a game changer. Woo! My God, my God, my God. I tell you, it's time to become a game changer.